One of the most frequent comments and questions I get on my channel is around battery capacity, especially when building up a battery bank out of multiple cells. Now often these questions are more specifically about lithium cells, but the same rules apply to all chemistries. Let's start by looking at this alkaline double A cell. It has a nominal voltage of 1.5 volts, but it's likely to come out of the packet reading 1.6 or 1.65 volts. And I guess it's able to supply a couple of hundred milliamps of current for a while. The capacity of a battery is usually measured in ampere hours or amp hours. A one amp hour cell is able to deliver one amp of current for one hour. Or perhaps it might supply two amps for half an hour or 100 milliamps for 10 hours. Now if we place two cells end to end with the positive of this cell here connecting to the negative of this second one, the voltage of these two cells adds together. So we now have a nominal voltage of 3 volts. Now both cells have 2000 milliamp hours of capacity, but because these cells are in series, with that positive connecting to the negative, the capacity remains the same. So this battery pack now has a nominal voltage of 3 volts, but still has a capacity of 2000 milliamp hours. Let's take another set of cells. Here I have three lithium ion 18650s and they have a nominal voltage of 3.7 volts, but fully charged they will sit at 4.2 volts. All of these cells have a capacity of about 2 amp hours or 2000 milliamp hours. Here I've connected them so that all their positive terminals are connected together and their negative terminals are also connected together. And therefore the voltage will remain the same, 4.2 volts when fully charged. In this example the cell's capacity adds up to make the overall battery pack's capacity. So this is still a 4.2 volt pack but it now has a capacity of 6 amp hours, 2 amp hours plus 2 plus 2. These cells are connected in parallel. Now let's look at a more complicated scenario. Here I want to use 9 cells to make something like a 12 volt pack. Well with 4.2 volts maximum for each of these cells in series we've got 4.2, 8.4, 12.6 volts fully charged. Now by repeating that series chain here of cells I've been able to increase the capacity from a uh, 2 amp hours to 4 and to 6 amp hours. So yeah we've got a 12.6 volt 6 amp hour pack. Now let's just talk about capacity with regards to energy storage. This cell here has a nominal voltage of 3.7 volts and a capacity of about 2 amp hours. By multiplying these two numbers together we can calculate the total energy stored within the cell. 3.7 volts times 2 amp hours is 7.4 watt hours. So if we grab a second cell you'd be right to think that we've doubled our energy storage. It's doubled whether we place these cells in series by doubling the voltage but not the capacity or by placing them in parallel by doubling the capacity but the voltage stays the same. Here is my 12 volt battery bank in the shed. I have eight batteries here all connected together with their negatives all commoned on this bus bar and their positives all commoned on that bus bar. They're all in parallel. Each one of these batteries has a capacity of 17 amp hours. So we've got 8. 8 times 17 is 136. So 136 amp hours total. So we can work out the energy storage of this bank which is 12 volts times 136 amp hours which is 1632 watt hours or 1.632 kilowatt hours. And this is my lithium ion 18650 
battery bank. It's made up of seven groups of cells connected in series with the positive of one pack connecting to the negative of the next. Each of these groups of cells has 20 individual 18650s within it connected in parallel. So 20 individual cells all have their positive tabs connected together and their negative tabs connected together. So this is known as a 7S 20P pack. 7 cells in series and 20 in parallel. Each of the individual cells in this pack had a tested capacity when I built it of 2.5 amp hours on average. So 20 2.5 amp hour cells in parallel gives us a 50 amp hour total for each of these groups. Each group has a nominal voltage of 3.7 volts and with each of these seven groups connected in series the total voltage here is 25.9 volts nominal. So therefore if we do the math the total energy stored in this pack is 50 amp hours times 25.9 volts which is 1295 watt hours or 1.295 kilowatt hours. Well there we are then I hope this video will help people quantify their battery packs with whatever chemistry it's made up of. If it helped you then please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you can, comment down below and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.